Hello class. In this class, we are going to continue with the human male reproductive system. In previous class, we have discussed about the human male se primary sex gland or primary male sex organ. That is a pair of testes. Uh, we have studied the internal structure of the testes, the outer coverings of testes. In internal structure, uh, we have studied the lobules. And internally, testis is divided into many lobules and lobules has two compartments. Each lobule has two compartments, seminiferous tubular compartment and interstitial compartment. The seminiferous tubular compartment include the seminiferous tubules which constitute about uh, 80 to 90 percent of total testicular volume. And the function of this compartment is that inside the seminiferous tubules, sperms are synthesized. And inside the uh, interstitial compartment, there are presence of uh, specialized type of polyhedral cells called lydic cells. The function of lydic cell is to secrete the male androgen testosterone hormone. So in this class, we are going to continue with the uh, glands of male reproductive system. The glands or the accessory glands. of male reproductive system so we are going to study three glands of male reproductive system the prostate gland here the prostate here the seminal vesicle seminal vesicle the bulbo urethral or copper's gland. So these are three glands of the male reproductive system. So first we'll move to the seminal vesicle. There are a pair of seminal vesicles, a pair, those are present in between the urinary bladder and erectum, between urinary bladder and erectum. The dot of seminal vesicle, it opens into the ejaculatory dot ejaculatory duct is here ejaculatory duct this small duct is ejaculatory duct so the secretions coming from seminal vesicle is coming into the ejaculatory duct the secretion of seminal vesicle contains vitamins mucus, prostaglandins, and then clotting proteins and a special type of fructose which is not synthesized anywhere in the body and the secretion from seminal vesicle is slightly alkaline in nature. And the pH is nearly around 7.6, varies uh, uh, from 7.4 to 7.6. And the function of this secretion is to lubricate the vagina and it also protects and nourishes the spermatozoa. And also it neutralizes the acidity present in the urethra. If there is any acidity in the urethra, the secretion as it is alkaline, it neutralizes the acidity both in the urethra and also it decreases the acidity in, inside the vagina during sexual intercourse. So moving to the special function of these clotting proteins and fructose. The function of this clotting protein, protein is to clot the semen after ejaculation. They clot semen after ejaculation. 
These are not the clotting factors or clotting proteins similar to the blood clotting factors or blood clotting proteins. These are different kind of proteins which help to clot the semen after ejaculation inside the vagina. Next, the function of this fructose, it has a special function as it is not synthesized anywhere in the body, only it is synthesized inside the seminal vesicle. So, this fructose is used as identification tool in case of sexual assault cases. If there is presence of fructose in the female genital tract, then it is a confirmed case of sexual assault. So, next we will move to another gland it is the prostate prostate gland is single that is a there is only one prostate gland which lies at the base of the bladder here this is the prostate gland this is the prostate gland it lies at the base of the bladder and the urethra passes through a small hole in the center of the prostate and the part of urethra present inside the prostate gland is called as prostatic urethra. The secretion of prostate gland is slightly acidic because it contains citric acid. Citric acid nourishes the sperm and also the secretion contains prostaglandins and different enzymes. The function of this secretion secreted from uh, the prostate gland is to nourish the sperm and protect the sperm. The next gland is bulbourethral gland or copper's gland. Here there are two bulbourethral glands or there are a pair of bulbourethral gland. Two pea-sized bulbourethral gland pea-sized lying just inferior to the prostate gland on either side left and right. So there is a left copper's gland and right copper's gland. The secretion is slightly alkaline and it is a thin viscid fluid. which neutralizes the acidity present in the penile urethra which neutralizes the acidity in penile urethra and also it neutralizes the penis and vagina during sexual intercourse so these are three glands of male reproductive system. Next, we'll move to the dog system of male reproductive system.